Now that is the end of main briefing, and I'm just going to sum up the major points that have been brought out. The scene, a bomber station somewhere in England. The speaker, a senior briefing officer. The occasion, Operation Bulldog, biggest air maneuver since the war. In a setting familiar to thousands of wartime flyers, is reenacted not a battle of Britain, but a battle for Britain. The objective, to try out firstly tactics developed since the thousand bomber raids. Above all, to test Britain's air striking forces against highly organized defenses. And at the back of everyone's mind is the bomb. The startling announcement that the Russians had unraveled the secret coincided with the start of the exercise. At Bomber Command Headquarters, the progress of the Lincolns is traced. Air Marshal Sir Aubrey Elwood, the Commander-in-Chief, maps out the master plan. Under the RAF's overall command come frontline units of the other Western Union powers and the 3rd United States Air Division at present based somewhere in Norfolk. The American B-50s, part of the attacking force, are to play a vital role in the operation. For with others, it is their task to evade Britain's defensive system by day. French piloted vampires and Dutch manned meteors, who are out to stop the Americans getting through, add to the Atlantic packed flavor of this giant air maneuver. <laughs> With the start of operations delayed by fog for nearly 18 hours, RAF Lincoln bombers join in the offensive by day instead of night, as had been planned. Their targets are industrial towns in the Midlands and southern England. The bombs are, of course, only dummies, but the milk chocolate operational rations is real enough. heavily guarded underground room at Observer Corps HQ, the attacking planes are identified and traced all along their route. It is here that the progress of the battle is followed. Observer Corps passes the alarm to headquarters and out goes the call to fighter stations. Scramble. command plays a big part and the feel of battle is realistic enough. Like the ACAC boys, the strafing and intercepting planes are using camera guns. 20,000 feet up, the aerial battle is joined. Meteors, their cannons stacked with celluloid, film away as they swoop down on the raiding Lincolns. American B-50s, 300 mile an hour super forts of the type that dropped the atom bomb on Japan, now join in the battle. Results will take two months to analyze. Reports from observer posts, pilots and gunners will have to be checked first. Chief lesson is the need for more jet bombers and jet night fighters, both already in production. Chief object of the exercise remains to perfect our defensive plans so that the Bulldog may long remain only at exercise. Thank you.